<clears throat> hey guys, so let me say this is going to be a bit of a rant. And uh, it's mostly going to be dedicated towards uh, Nabita, whose YouTube channel is Find Your Love in Japan. Um, before I get to that though, I want to say that I'm going to be redoing some of my old videos. Mostly because of the whole thing that happened with the uh, Hunter Avalon. For those of you who don't know, basically was uh, kicked off for a little bit for hate speech, even though the guy mostly just does shock humor and comedy. So, I figured, well, they're going to get him. They're definitely going to get me for my, some of my stuff. So, I better try and redo it, try and alter it to like a... I did my other one where I was put in there... I won't say everything. For those of you who seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Where I was saying how, you know, this is my opinion based off uh, science and biology. To kind of help me help me out. I was like, hey, look, I even put it as an opinion. I even put where I came, how I came up to, my, to get that opinion. Kind of deal. To at least help me out. Um, and then also because, well, since uh, I've gotten more subs since I've done those, I figure, hey, I can kind of put them in this new format that I want to do. And hopefully, you know, more people get to see them. Um, no real guarantee, but still. Anyway, on to the main one, <clears throat> and that is Nabita. Uh, not Nabita? I'm sorry, I don't quite know how to pronounce your name. Um, anyway, man, I, I agree. Like, the last thing you're gonna want is to, is to have freaking just a bunch more immigrants flooding in your country. And basically changing things. Keep Japanese culture, Japanese culture. You know, stay Japan. I'm not saying, like, don't let anyone in. Like, you know. I'm not saying shut down the borders and all that crap. But, <clears throat> same time, don't let what happened here happen over there. With this whole PC culture. Like, we honestly see you guys as the last bastion of freedom of speech and, you know, creativity. You know, the guy who did Yakuza when they were like, they say, oh, but what about the women? Like, hey, the guy's like, hey, if you, if you had real, uh, if you had real men over there, you, you know, your women wouldn't be uh, so into this fictional one or something like that. That was pretty awesome. And then I forgot the other one. I think it was a, there was one, there was one more and then two more. One was the other one was, uh, one of them was the guy who did Nier Automata. When they're asking, like, oh, well, this is battle androids. Why are they so, you know, attractive and all that? Like, I just like looking at women. Perfect answer, if you ask me. No complaints with the thing, I guess to say. <clears throat> but, anyway, the reason why I'm saying is because, like I said, I, I think it would be pretty cool to live there. I wouldn't mind. I'd want to do more than teach my own language. I'd probably do it as a part-time job to make extra money just because. But... I've seen what this craft can do. And I've already seen how it's already kind of starting to affect the culture. Um, not personally, because I don't... Again, I'm not there. I've never been there. But, <clears throat> for anyone who doesn't know this, you can type in uh, Japanese cholas. And, oh god, they actually are pretty accurate. I'll have some pictures coming up in a little bit. But, really accurate as far as makeup and all that. It's like, Why? Why is that what you want to look like? I mean, the New York Times and I forgot the other one that put it, did the story explain it, but I don't know how true that is. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> I mean, look at this. H here we go. I'm going to transition to it. And it's like, why would you do that? Like, what's, what the hell? Like, <sighs> the Cholas are not exactly a good thing. I dated a Hispanic girl who was embarrassed to admit she used to be a chola. I mean, just the heavy makeup, the aggressive attitude, the weird slang, not talking right, you know? Like, I mean, if you guys seen... I mean, I don't know about, like, Family Guy, bad, you know, like, don't be stupid. Although, partly, yeah. <laughs> I would say more like, um... <clears throat> For those of you who've seen the movie Falling Down, the big hoop earrings, the big fake nails, and just, you know, kind of stretched out the way they do their vowels or some other vowels. It's like, why? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Why is that what you would want? Why is he, you know, 
Why are you gonna sit there and cake on makeup on yourself and shit? Why are you gonna take pride in sleeping around and fighting people just because? You know? Like, oh, that bitch. You know, it's like, what the? And yeah, Chola women are pretty aggressive. Like, the ones I've seen that fight men and women, you know, carry a knife on them and shit. Just to make sure that, you know, they have to fight a dude. Just to make sure they have a chance at winning. I just don't understand it. You know, I don't know how much on fucking overdone makeup just makes you look even worse. Like in the video, there's a chick who's a mechanic. I thought she looked better without the goddamn, like, pound of Mako. You know, and then Chola women, like, do everything they can. Put the makeup to, like, kind of give their eyes at, you know, the, um... The curvature, or the slant looking, if you will. Um... Which Japanese people already have. You know, like, I mean, they gotta try and give it. Give it to themselves. And... <laughs> Oh, and I think it was the New York Times that said it. It might have been the other one. It was saying how uh, they're doing this, their way of, uh, was it rebelling against trying to being seen as, uh, what was it, docile and all this other crap. Like, what? What? I mean, maybe, I guess, I don't know. <clears throat> but it's not like, you know, a dude asks a woman now, she has to be so docile. Like, oh, well, of course. Like, no. You know, I, again, I could be wrong, but. I mean, I've known Japanese women. I've known Thai women. I've known women from China. And usually, they're, they don't have no—they don't have much of a problem speaking their mind. They're trying to be friendly. They're trying to be polite. Maybe trying to be accommodating, but not submissive. At least from all the ones I've seen and talked to and you know dealt with. And they've just been real friendly people. There's nothing wrong with that. And don't get me wrong, those Japanese women who are dressed like cholas just seem to be that way, but it's almost, it kind of makes me think of how Anna Kasparian was all mad about it. So with the AKB48, how about, oh, these women have to seem like they're attainable and can't be, have to be pure, they're not allowed to date. Neither are the men. Neither are the men. Just, that's for you, Anna. Uh, Anna. <sighs> anyway, sorry. So, yeah, no, 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 it's a dude. Don't. You know, fight that crap. If you guys are allowed to vote on that, fucking vote against it. Like, don't let them just flood in a whole bunch of, uh, you know, immigrants to go over there and change the culture and all that. Especially because of what? I think <clears throat> Japan's strict on how many of the uh, refugees it took in. And from what I understand, in the entire time, there's only been one attack. And it was on another group of the exact same people because they couldn't recite the Quran properly. I mean, that, and the, their criteria was you had to. Um, put where their bank is at, where they live, if they're going to send money, they can only send a certain amount, and they have to put where, and they, that way they can track it and all that, because if you're not, if you're not Japanese by blood, then you're not Japanese, which, hey, that's cool, that's probably better than this, bro, what we had now, where it's like, you know, Obama's the first, like, half white, but he's just being declared as the first, you know, black president, just because that's what they want. <clears throat> but before he, well, while he was running, though, like, oh, we'll vote for the white half. If you don't like, you know, if you're race, so racist, you don't want to vote for him because he's, he's black. Just vote for his white half. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, you know, you just gonna pick and choose. Look at uh, Nick Ricada from Nick R uh, from uh, Ricada Law, where they're sitting like, oh, his black face lawyer. Like, I mean, they're just sitting there. The guy he's been friends with since their freshman year in college, reducing the guy down to the race. I don't want to see that shit in Japan. I want to be able to sit there, to like see Japan and be like, no fucks given. Sit there, hey, this is our culture. If you don't like it, oh well, you ain't one of us. I will take that over anything. I mean, I liked, I was a little let down in your video, uh, Nabita, about Hispanics. You know, <laughs> it was like, well, Hispanic, what's that? Why should I care? <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I thought it was funny, but. I just kind of like, man, <laughs> I kind of wish we had a little bit more reputation, good or bad, you know? Uh, I've seen videos of people talk about being in Japan, and it's funny as hell, because like, oh yeah, you can't really find the same like kind of taco meat, which for us, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, there's nothing wrong with it, but, you know, at least they assimilate. Uh, she just says, hey, look, I tried, 
you know, I think uh, one girl was saying she was married and he went, her husband went to try it out. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. And she was just trying to make the food she was used to. Which, again, there's nothing wrong with that. But people at least assimilate. People at least go and do stuff. You know, you start bringing in people, depending on from where, obviously. And it's like, no, we're going to do this. I mean, look at how many uh, terrorist attacks have happened, have been happening. You know, they think, I've heard supposedly they think it might, uh, there might have been one with the, uh, uh, the Notre Dame Tower. Supposedly there were, there was a few in, uh, uh ah, Haitian, was it Haitian? Or, I forgot where they were the, more, the most recent ones that happened on Easter. It's just interesting how all this is starting to happen in these places. Now that they're like, oh, well, we need to open up, we can't just be exclusive, like, no. Japan does need to work on its, uh, on, uh, you know, having more kids and its population and all that. I admit that. And you talked, you did a video talking about it. I don't fully agree with what you're saying and all, or everything you were saying. But that's two different people from two different countries, two different cultures here, who are going to clash on ideas. But I think that's what needs to be done. You know, and I'm not going to do some joke of, I'll go over there and help create kids. Like, don't get me wrong, I would, but... I wouldn't just start banging because that's just what that's again that's the whole troll out thing just having a bunch of fucking sex not giving a shit and then like oh stay out of my business but yet they want the whole abortion on demand they want free contraceptives or contraceptives to come out of my taxes and all that shit but yet I can't be like hey stop being a slut <sighs> I guess I, I didn't have much to say but I did want to at least do a video towards you man because as a minority Who's not from there who says, hey, I wish I could. I'm saying, <laughs> if you gotta kick people like me out too to help protect your culture, do it. You know, I wish you guys could do. S no, you guys are pretty much doing everything you can do, actually, now that I think about it. We need to kind of crack down more on it. <sighs> anyway, I hope uh, they don't bring in more people to change this culture, all that. There's nothing wrong with, you know, being diverse and all that stuff and change and so on, but it's the way you do it. It's when it happens naturally, not forced. Anyway, again guys, I'm sorry, I know this is just a rant. I hope everyone had a good Easter. Uh, I've actually been up since 5, which is why I was like, this was kind of quick. Um, anyway, tell me what you think. You agree with me, not agree with me? Um, anyway. Yeah, like I said, sorry, I've just been up since like 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm recording this right now as of 5.47 a.m. Because <laughs> of Easter and then trying to get some other stuff done. And, yeah. Anyway. So, I uh, hope everyone enjoys. I hope you guys had a good Easter. Uh, take care again. Tell me what you think. And I'll see y'all next time. And I'll do my best to make sure that you're at least more, more prepared. <laughs>